All right, let's talk about Jack Daniels and porn and dick pics. Uh, here we are. This is the final chapter in our series where we're learning why most guys stay stuck on some kind of plateau in life and why a rare few are able to level up. These are the guys that get stronger and more impactful in every area of their life as they get older. And this is all part of the authority group coaching program that starts in October. It's the best elements of one-on-one coaching, a men's group, and a mastermind group all put together. And you can learn more about joining the group by visiting the newmanpodcast.com. So one of the superpowers that doesn't get talked about in business or personal development is humor. And if I'm talking to someone who tells me they want to level up their profession or their relationships, I know they're going to stay stuck if they can't take a joke. These are the guys that believe they can't have any fun until they've reached their goal. They're rigid in their thinking, which in turn makes them fragile. They believe that if they have any fun, they're going to fall behind. And instead of having fun, they spend their time being defensive and offended. These are the types of guys that get up on a beautiful Saturday morning to go play golf and they feel like throwing their clubs in the water hazard. These guys are missing the big picture. These men are weakening themselves because they've chosen to believe that things are more urgent or important than they truly are. They're white-knuckling their lives, thinking that they need fear and pressure in order to perform better. And unfortunately, these guys live in a state of constant drain and deprivation. These guys are such buzzkills because most of them have attached their sense of self-worth to the outcome of whatever they're doing. In other words, they believe that if they lose this particular challenge, then they themselves are a loser. Talk about thinking small, right? Then you have another set of guys who are able to get shit done and also bring a sense of play to their work. These are the guys that know how to make things seem more like a game. They're willing to get over themselves and try different ideas. They're willing to look silly if it means it'll help them move the needle forward. And this makes them more likely to succeed because they're more focused on what really matters than how they appear to others. Because these guys are willing to experiment, they're able to get out of their own way. They're flexible and able to course correct quicker. Most importantly, having fun means that they're able to recharge. They're not going to be depleted because they're not counting on the finish line to revitalize their energy. They've learned how to stay rejuvenated while they move forward. All right, let's get back to the dick pics and the Jack Daniels and all that stuff. A few years ago, I realized I was starting to take stuff too seriously. I was hosting a popular podcast. I was talking about serious topics, and I was coaching guys to make significant changes in their lives. And I was starting to feel like shit inside. I had started to tell myself that I had to be all zipped up and professional. I believe that if I joked around or I had some fun that people wouldn't take me seriously and I'd end up having to support my family by giving hand jobs down at the Greyhound bus station bathroom. So I decided I needed to stop being such a stick in the mud. I didn't want to build a business that was so fragile that I couldn't be myself. I didn't want to feel drained because I was leaving my sense of humor and playfulness at the door. In fact, I wanted my business to get stronger because I was bringing my humor. So I came up with this idea to do a video for April Fool's Day. And the concept for the video was that my computer's internal video camera had been hacked and I would be exposed as a terrible awful coach. And people would see that I was coaching guys like Brett Favre or Anthony Weiner to send dick pics to women. They'd see that I was drinking Jack Daniels and watching porn while coaching clients through emotionally trying situations. I had so much fun making this video. And then April 1st rolled around and I was scared to press publish. Personal development was supposed to be mature and serious and respectful. What the hell was I thinking? Would anyone want to work with me after seeing these images of me being a total tool? I was scared, but I published it anyway. It turns out the video was a hit, and it's made me more powerful in several ways. First, it kicked down the door for me to be playful and have fun in my work. This keeps me energized and inspired. It helps me deliver more value, and that's huge. Second, the videos polarize the people that are interested in working with me. Guys that can't take a joke and have a stick up their ass, they hit the road when they see that video. Guys that want to level up and have more fun in the process find that they can connect and trust me more. In fact, last year, there was a guy who was on the fence about making the big commitment to join the Authority Coaching Group. He told me that before he mailed the check, he went online looking for reviews. He wanted reassurance that this was the right step for him. He said he Googled around, and he ended up finding my April Fool's video, and then he laughed his ass off, and he felt a huge relief knowing that I was the right coach for him. As part of the Authority Coaching Group, we make humor and play a key component of our work. What good is success if we can't enjoy creating? What good is success if it just makes us more rigid and drained? If you're interested in one of the six total seats available, head over to the newmanpodcast.com and look for the red banner. This is going to tell you what to do next. 
In the meantime, I hope you find ways to play and laugh through your life, and I hope you find ways to enjoy the process of creating whatever it is that you want to create. Thanks for listening.